Ah, a friendly day of beam battles. Such a fun game. I can't wait to go online and see how everyone's playing. Oh, what? Where is that from? Oh my god, come on, man. Bro, where even is he? Bro, where even is he? Finally, I killed this match. Thankfully. Oh. Okay, there's a guy right over here. I can get him. Whoa, 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 where is this guy even coming from? Right, so it seems like almost all of the BBCL Discord looked at my video last time. I mean, I think all of you did. Which is great, but now the game is a sweaty mess. And you know, what should I do when it's a sweaty mess? Keep adding a more sweaty mess on top of it. This video at first was going to be a little different. At first I thought to myself, hmm, I don't want to make the game even sweatier. Let me just make an edit. But then I realized I don't think anybody really wants to see that because it's just, it's all editing. But if you do want to see it, let me know. This episode is going to be how to loot. This episode will not be basically to survive, but knowing where to loot and how to loot it. I will be talking about every call out on the map and where high looted and low looted area places are. There will be no timestamps on this video because I'm going over everywhere in the map. It would take too long to list 10, 15 timestamps on my screen. So without further ado, let's get into this. So this right here guy is a map of all callouts and all solo spawns and beam battles, at least to my knowledge. There might be some that I missed or some that I accidentally put in, but here is what I think for the most part are almost all the spawns. We will be cutting this map into 9 sections. The first section will be the top left which is A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. The top middle will be A345, B345, C345. Top right will be A6, A7, B6, B7, C6, C7, and etc for the rest of the way down as in mid and then lower. So first let's talk about upper left. Fallen tree hit and tents. Here there are only about four or five spawns and your highest looted area would be tent slash big red. This area is a confusing area because it sort of blends in with mid but big red there is the highest loot spawn there at least to my knowledge. Even if you spawn as far as fallen tree try to push in through tents checking tents with your third person view not trying to walk into each tent but trying to get as fast as possible to Big Red. There is one lone trailer, and like I said, some tents, but you really quickly want a third person check those, because it is a race to Big Red. Now for our top mid, we have Forest, Long Ridge, High and Low Trailers, Big Hill, and that seems about it. We have about five to six spawns in this area. Best bet is rushing to High and Low Trailers. High and Low Trailers have the most loot in that area, but not the highest on the map. Big red is the highest on the map. But since it'll be high and low trailers, you should have enough loot to survive the match. If not, rotate up to Big Hill. Big Hill will have a couple of weapons on that park bench, and if you look over in C5, there's a lone tent. This kind of pushes into top right, but it's a good rotation to make if you do not see a lot of loot there. Now on to top right. Three spawns, two major zones, lone tent, and snow caps. This is possibly one of the worst places you can spawn. Sprint out of there. If you spawn at snow cabs, check the cabins fast and try to make a sprint over to fallen tree and rotate through tents in big red. If you can't make it by the time of the storm or the wall or the fence or I don't, I don't know what we call it in this game. If the big grid makes it there before you do, you can always try and rotate to trailers and then big hill. Next is middle left. You have big red brown barns. There are only about two spawns in this area. There's not a lot of loot here, but what I would recommend is going up to Big Red and beating the spawns there at tents. Some have close spawns, but most of the spawns are farther away. You will easily beat them. Now on to mid, where we have Fork and Mid Hay. Mid Hay is a decent spawn where there are a couple of trailers and a couple of benches. You have easy access to the call up benches as well, which has more. I would not recommend pushing Fork at all since there is no loot and you'll easily be shot by Big Hill. Warning, if you are spawned in mid, take cover immediately, get loot, and find cover. People will be shooting you from cabin, big hill, big red, even barn. It's not the most ideal spawn, but you can make the most out of it if you rotate out quickly. 
A good rotation for you would be cabins, so you're not getting shot by big hail or barn. Warning though that there are two spawns in cabins. Just before I go on, I know about the upcoming duos tournament, the spawns will be different. But still, this video is very, very important. If you spawn at a particular callout, you can still use this video to your advantage. Just because the red dot spawns won't match up with duo spawns doesn't mean my information about high loot areas is wrong. But anyways, going right mid, we have road and cabs overview. This area right here, you do not want to loot anything in that area. You want to run straight towards cabins with that one spawn. As for lower left, we have hay bales and red barn. There's one spawn here, but Red Barn has a decent amount of loot, and my personal preference would be to rotate right. Most players rotate left, but that E3 spawn usually creates crowds to a trailer that's in hay bales. If someone's watching you rotate left into brown barns, then they can shoot at you and you'll become an instant target. But rotating right, there are little hills and trees you can hide behind to get into benches. Now for bottom middle, one spawn and one major area benches. This has a decent amount of loot. If you spawn here, you are pretty set, but just like mid, you need to take cover right away. Finally, bottom right, cabins and trans. Basically, this whole area is just made up of cabins. Trans has no loot. When you're playing solo, there is such a high chance that you will get a 1v1 at cabins right away. If you spawn in the top of cabins, go to that first cabin right away. If you can't find anything, go to that second cabin. You need to stay inside of the cabins, because that bottom player has access to more surroundings than you do. If you can stay inside of a cabin and keep him pinched inside of his cabins, he will eventually have to move out because of the grid. Now, if you're on bottom cabins, it is very easy to counter this and you have the favorable spawn in this. Also, you have four cabins to loot from, compared to the top spawns too. If you see the other team is not peeking out, then go to the right. But if he's peeking out, try and sneak into that next left one. You do not want to be pinched in those two outer cabins, so make sure no one is there or he's not paying attention to you if you do go into those right cabins. And like I said, for duos, this is obviously going to be different. For example, if you spawn in cabins, you're not going to have a gunfight right away, so you can take those right ones. If you do all of these correctly, you will become the Bean Slayer. I know this is a meme, but it's such a good drawn image. Massive shout out to B39 on Discord. Such an amazing drawing. So if you need anything drawn, add him on Discord, and just a massive thank you for letting me use this in today's video. This is where I'm gonna wrap up the video. I know the video didn't have a lot of B-roll like the last video, but I'm trying to get these videos out a little more quickly. That being because of the upcoming preseason duos tournament. If you have not heard of this tournament, please go on Discord right away and sign up. It's free entry and a hundred dollar prize pool. I cannot thank the creator of the game, Duck, enough for letting me be a community leader, and I cannot thank the BBCL admins for letting me be a commentator in the upcoming stream. Come watch me live July 14th. Trust me, it'll be better than Fortnite. It'll be better than PUBG. Trust me, this game is amazing, and you're gonna want to watch the pros go in action. Like and subscribe for more beam battles, and comment down below or message me on Discord if you have any suggestions at all. It's honestly amazing seeing you guys in games and getting messages on Discord about how good the last video was. I love all of you guys so much. But without further ado, I'm going to let you guys go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Sproutsy, and I'll see all y'all later. Peace out.